hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel macpm so in this video we will solve a numerical problem which is based on the rivet joints so if you are new to our channel and you are watching this video for first time then i would suggest you to please go through the playlist and watch the video watch the playlist from the first video so you can get better stand understanding okay so let's read the problem a single riveted double cover but joint so what is this first of all you should understand what is question trying to ask okay so we will draw the joint single riveted double cover butt joint so first of all what is butt joint so in butt joint there are two plates which are kept face to face to each other they don't overlap okay then double cover double cover what is the cover in cover we place cover above the plates this is first cover this is double cover okay so we are placing two plates above the joint so that it can be connected and this is single riveted okay single riveted means one rivet each side of the joint in one row okay or single row of rivets now if you want to draw this is front view if you want to draw drop view then this is one plate there is another plate and uh, there is one cover plate and there is another cover plate i'm drawing just rough diagrams not real diagrams okay i hope you understand because of the time so this is first row of rivets this is second row of rivets there may be n number of rivets in one line we, we i am considering it at one row okay so in one row there may be n number of rivets okay but there must there may must not be more than one row in one on each side of the joint because it is given a single riveted okay this is single riveted so first of all we will draw the pitch of this rivet joint so what is pitch pitch is the distance between centers of two conjunctive rivets okay so this is pitch so what are the given what are the given terms in the question two plates 12 mm thick okay so these plates are 12 mm thick this is 12 mm this is also 12 mm so we will write it t is equal to 12 mm the diameter of the rivet so this is the diameter of the rivet so d is equal to 24 mm the permissible stress r stresses are in tension suppose in tension we write it as sigma t is equal to 120 newton per mm square in 100 newton per in cr so tau is equal to 100 newton per mm square and in bearing or crushing sigma c is equal to 200 newton per mm square these things are given in the question we have to calculate the pitch length p is equal to what this pitch length we already done here so we have to find this p and efficiency of joint these th two things are we have to find so first of all we will try to find the strength of joint okay strength of this joint because efficiency is equal to strength of joint riveted joint divided by strength of original plate strength of plate which is original original plate okay so what will be the strength of plate first of all this joint uh, this joint which is shown here may fail due to three cases okay first one is tear tear of the plate along this line because here you can see we have drilled a hole here we have drilled another hole here we have drilled another hole here so there is very less area of plate which is not drilled so it has become weaker okay 
so it may get develop a crack along this line okay or you can also say here along this line so plate may get cracked here so what will be the suppose p s is the sorry p t f is here p t is tearing strength okay so strength of plate at which it will tear so it is p t so what will be p t p t will be it is tearing due to tension okay so we are applying load like this so it will be sigma t into area area per piece we are considering per piece because there may be n number of rivets in one row but we are considering only for per piece length for ease of our calculator so sigma t into area which is equal to this area this is whole already this is whole already so only this area is remaining so this area is p minus c this is p p minus this is d by 2 and this is also d by 2 p minus 2 into d by 2 is equal to d this is length and thickness is t thickness of the plate so it will become pt is equal to sigma t is 120 into p p we don't know we have to find and diameter is 24 and thickness is 12 so if you multiply it you will get pt is equal to 1400 p sorry 1440 p minus 24 newton okay second what is sharing strength of the plate p s is equal to n which is number of number of uh, rivets per pitch length into sharing stress maximum of sharing stress tau into this is m suppose m into area of shear m is at how many places this rivet is being sheared so if you can see from here this rivet if this plate is push, pulling it then this rivet may shear from here and here two places so this is double shear so m will become two because area uh, is two times okay because it is shearing at two places so it will become n and number of rivets per pitch length so this is one pitch length and number of rivet is half here and half here so half plus half one so it is one into tau is 100 into m is 2 because this is double shear and area of rivet is 5 by 4 d square here d was 24 so it will become 100 into this is 5 by 2 into 24 square so it will become ps is equal to 90500 newton Okay, third bearing or crushing strength PC is equal to suppose these are the two plates which has been joined with a the rivet then if we pull this then this rivet may get crushed or this plate may get crushed so what will be the area of the crust it will be equal to projection of this hole on the wall so it will become n number of rivets per pitch into sigma c into area of crushing so area of crushing is projection so area of crushing will become diameter into thickness of the plate so it will become one because it is one rivet per joint per pitch into sigma c is 200 into area is diameter 24 into thickness is 12 so if you calculate it you will get 57600 newton which is pc 
so what will be the p pitch so we have this these two values so we will select such p that which that uh, plate is not failing due to tearing because we have to design that safe tearing load okay so we will select the minimum of these two so it is this one this one so we will equate these two so 1440 p minus 24 is equal to 5760 okay so from here you will get p is equal to 64 mm if you calculate it you will get p is equal to 64 mm which is piece of the rivet now what will the efficiency efficiency is minimum of this three which is 57600 newton divided by strength of original plate which is equal to sigma t into pitch into thickness of the plate which is equal to 5 into 100 percentage 57600 divided by sigma t was if you will see sigma t was given to us 120 so it is 120 into pitch is 64 into thickness is 12 ok so we have been given this value so if you calculate it into 100 if you multiply to get in percentage then you get 5 7 and 6 0 0 divided by 9 to 1 6 0 into 100 so it will become 62.5 percentage this is efficiency of the joint so i hope you understood this problem if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section and if you like this video then please share and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching